So hey guys, uh, welcome back to our channel and uh, in this video I'm gonna show you guys how I do this makeup look. This is the, I call it the berry burst makeup look. I think um, the strong colors, the really vibrant uh, red makeup uh, colors really suit with the um, lips and my face is quite glowy so I really like this makeup look and um, I think this look is versatile for um, it's very versatile it can be for like parents dinner date and basically when you want to play with colors during daytime or nighttime when you go to a party and it's good for like autumn or winter um, days so um, if you guys want to see how I create this look please keep on watching so now I've just moisturized my lips using the uh, honey therapy maswo do ustechka and um, this is like a vanilla flavored um, buttery lip balm to moisturize my lips because my lips is always so dry and like just so dry like 24 7 like no matter if it's winter or like summer or spring and then now I'm gonna use the um, uh, Navi Jayonsa um, Basa Pod Maquillage <laughs> Pro Makeup Base uh, by Bialenda to just act as a primer and moisturize my face. Now I'm gonna use another Bialenda product, the um, uh, Fluid Crayonza, the uh, foundation. Beshove uh, in the shade number two, so just a beige uh, foundation. Gonna cover up the big rashes. My face looks really like like kind of glowy because this foundation is supposed to have a matte finish but I'm but I used the uh, Basa Pot Maquillage before so it looks quite glowy and the coverage is quite high but for this makeup look we want a very 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 clean base for because we are going for really strong eyes right so we need a very clean base so I'm gonna use a uh, concealer the RMS um, Beauty and Cover Up Concealer to brighten my uh, under eye area, cover my dark circles furthermore. And basically, that's it. Other rashes, I don't need a uh, particular cover up because I've already put on the foundation. And now I'm gonna use hmm, brows product and pressure. And I'm gonna just use my regular Kate um, Designing Eyebrow uh, Brow Powder and to create natural but strong brows. I'm gonna use this to brush it through my eyebrows first. Just brush through the eyebrows. And then I'm gonna dip my uh, little brow brush to the deeper shade here. Deeper shade. And then just put a bit on the on the arch of my brow so focusing on the tail and make sure you kind of like the tail of your eyebrow exceed your eyes just by a tiny bit tiny bit um make sure that you do exceed your eyes so your face looks more like um how do you say that like it makes your facial features a bit more prominent and to create a really ultra natural brow finish we are not going to use any more product on this brow just gonna take like the excess product on the brow brush and brush it through before I normally just uh, dip it and dip my brow brush into the uh, lighter shade but this time I won't use it at all I'm just gonna use the excess brow product to brush it through and make it look even more natural after my eyebrows I'm gonna start with the eye makeup look so I'm gonna use my um, trusty eyeshadow brush I'm gonna use this um, Peach Desire uh, palette by uh, Lovely. Lovely is the um, the band uh, brand by Fibo, the company Fibo. So um, eyeshadow palette, and I'm just gonna use this um, nude base shade to uh, dust it all over my eyelid first. Afterwards, I'm gonna um, dip my brush into this brown shade. This one, this, um, the second one, the light brown shade. It's not actually light brown, it's medium, like a very warm tone to uh, brush it along my crease to add some more definition, add some more depth to my eyes. After I've done the um, 
round shade. Now I'm gonna dip my brush into the uh, this purple shade, this really pretty purple shade, and uh, brush it along the, the, how do you say that, like the outer corner of my eyes, so within the crease the on my eyelid, but on like one third of my eyelid, the outer corner. Give myself some purple. And then I'm gonna use um, the same purple shade and uh, run it along my lower lash line, just about the outer corner of my lower lash line, so just one third. Tap a little bit. And afterwards we are gonna take uh, this shade, the the bronze shimmer shade and run it um, all over our lid but focusing on the inner corner so it kind of overlaps with the the purple shimmer shade a bit but make sure you don't put it too out to the eyes so So now we have like a really strong vibrant color on the upper eyelid we are gonna do the same for the lower eyelid so just um, on here, starting from the inner corner of the eye, run it along our lower lash line a bit, a bit. And then afterwards, so my eyes is already quite vibrant, and we are gonna take the red shade. So this is a very warm, um, how do you say that, kind of like a break red shade and just tap a little bit on the very very outer corner of our house, eyes uh, make sure we don't blend it inwards we blend it a bit outwards to um, emphasize on like the redness of the berries so now we are gonna use the, uh, my trusty MAC palette so the um, eyeshadow palette with this beautiful shades and I'm gonna use the, the um, orangey shimmer shade is a very very shimmery shade uh, to dab it on the center of my eyelid so for a shimmery shade we want to make sure it doesn't go over the uh, the crease because I always used to make a mistake that I thought oh I will, I will go with like all over the lid and then it makes my lid look quite um, how do you say that like a bit weird like it looks too shimmery like too almost too eye-catching maybe some girls are really good for that kind of look but but I like it more, like even for glamorous look, I like to, to infuse it with like, you know, some natural elements into it. So I always, always just keep it. Now I always just keep it within my crease. Dab a little bit. And a tiny bit of this orange shimmer shade from MAC uh, on the sand right under my pupil. And then afterwards, I'm gonna use um, the, this golden shade, the, the golden shade to uh, just put a little bit on my inner corner. So I'm not going to use the brush, I'm just going to use my my fingers to dab a bit on the inner corner of this my This Deja Vu um, Lasting uh, Eyeliner. So it's a kind of eyeliner pencil but it has a gel texture and it's in the shade dark green and it's really really long lasting. And I'm gonna put it on the tail of my eye just to elongate my eyes a tiny little bit. Not gonna do like a really cat eye flick. Just, it's more like downwards. My eyeliner is more downwards than upwards like a traditional cat eye, cat eye because I will just want to elongate my eyes and make my eyes like you know even more like kind of in a sense innocent. It's more like puppyish so that's why I'm not gonna put it upwards and oh I only focus on the outer corner because I don't want the eyeliner to be too fake so I didn't do any on the corner a tiny bit on the outer corner of your lower lash line to connect the line together just a tiny bit like here to connect. Okay. so I'm quite happy with this eye, eye makeup look now so I only use just the tiniest bit of um, eyeliner because I don't want to make it too obvious. So another element to really emphasize on, to really highlight on is this Max Fact uh, Max Factor. Um, I think it's called the um, Creme Puff Blush in the shade Gorgeous Berries. So it really is berry course. So it looks really really pretty. It looks like this. And 
I'm just gonna use my finger to dab a bit on the um, on the product and then sh um, just uh, put it on my apples of my cheek focusing nearer to the eyes I want to focus it on more innocent like a flush under the eyes so I'm using my fingers the brush like like usually I find like blush brush might be like too big and it will be like whoosh, like whoosh all over your cheeks so I'm just gonna use my and finger now for the berry burst effect we are gonna dab just the tiniest bit on the middle finger and then just put it right under the eye so right here around the outer corner of the eye for lips i'm gonna use, use this um wait, this Rouge Dior lipstick 999 and it's a beautiful classic red lipstick that i love so much i'm just gonna dab it all over my lips and afterwards i'm gonna apply a second layer but only on the center of my lips this is using the using the Kamek um, Stay On Balm Rouge, this one. So it's a really creamy, moisturizing, moisturizing to the point that you don't actually need a, of course it's always better to use a lip balm before applying lipstick, but this one is so moisturizing that you don't need it and you can still get away with it. So I'm just gonna use this. I think it looks quite pretty. And now the final step is mascara and I'm gonna use this, oh, I forgot highlight. <laughs> I completely forgot about highlighter. So um, I'm gonna use the uh, Maybelline Fee Face Duo Stick uh, for um, just for a bit of glow. Well, I completely forgot about that. Like, I just throw it to the side. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting highlight mainly focusing on the center of my face to make sure that it does look glowy. And a tiny bit of shading for my nose. Just put your hand into Put your finger into the contour shade and then put a bit on to shade your nose. Uh, this one, uh, Collagen Wear Mascara, also by the brand Lovely. And so it's, wait, Mascara um, Su Collagenin. So it's Collagen Mascara. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on mascara and then show you guys the finish um, look. So I just put on mascara and um, so my eyes really pop with the um, berry colors and my lips go well with it. I think it's synchronized with it. So um, that's the end of the video. And if you guys enjoy this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel and go ham bye bye. See you guys in the next video.